Hello, my name is Joints Polvera, and this is my 1970 Buick Skylark Custom that I'm working on. Believe it or not, she was actually my first car I ever owned, and I bought her after I graduated high school back in 2018. Now, this car is very special to me, as it was the car that taught me everything I needed to know about carburetor engines. It was also designed by three generations of my family, including me, my father, and my grandfather, but more on that later. It is powered by a small block Chevy 350, making around 215 horsepower and I'm currently planning on building a 454 for it. Now that the uh, Buick purists are done rolling their eyes, uh, in my defense, the, the engine was swapped in before I got it, and since everything's already swapped to Chevy, and Chevy parts are just easier to build, then I'm just going to roll with that. I'm also thinking of changing the exhaust system to side pipes, which I've learned is a very, very controversial decision. The giant motor is probably going to require a hood cowl, and while I would normally wait until the project is completely finished to send it in, I figured this year was important because it marked my car's 50th birthday. Now the reason why I believe my car would be a great fit for the Hot Wheels Legends Tour is because of the paint job primarily. As I said before, my grandfather, father, and I all worked together to design it. During the testing stage of the design, we decided that we wanted to create a paint job that perfectly embodied American muscle, as well as complemented the car's body shape. We eventually settled on a shining metal flake gray paint job with two stripes down the center that connected the tip of the nose. The metal flake paint reflects on the countless car shows I saw growing up with hundreds of cars just like mine having shiny paint jobs and detailed designs. The stripes are a callback to the classic Chevelle design, but it also represents the Buick GSX's paint job with how it connects the tip. I know that some people don't like the Chevelle stripes, but personally, I love them, and I think that they look really good with the body style. The hood tachometer, while on the original Buick GS, was chosen because the aggressive look gave the old GTOs and Firebirds, and the rear spoiler, while also originally on the Buick GSX, was chosen because we felt it harkened back to the Mustang Fastbacks with a similar design. While this isn't the fastest car by any means, my family designed it to be the perfect embodiment of muscle car culture, all the way from the car show to the drag strip. 